Okay, so I'm going to um, show how to um, use the um, EAC Exact Audio Copy Ripper to um, rip a disk to um, lossless formats which aren't originally given with the uh, the program here. So how to use um, extra kind of types of lossless formats. Now, first of all, let's look at the um, the Exact Audio Copy. is a German design program which um, rips the disk twice and compares the two lots of um, results and make sure that they match. If they don't match, uh, it tells you that the uh, the rip is not perfect. But it's basically, according to many people, the, the very best ripper available anywhere. And it is free, so you can download it from uh, their site. You can choose language and then download that. Okay, so that's the uh, that's the site. Um, and this is the program you get when you you've installed it. You can install it on uh, Windows. You can install it on Linux under Wine as well, which is what I'm using right now. But it makes no difference. Okay, so um, I've got a disk in there. I've um, used a free DB to have the info on there. And these are some of the external um, lossless formats I've got already stacked on here. I've got True Audio, I've got Shorten, I've got MP4 ALS, I've got Wafpak, TAC, MP3 HD different types. So what I'm going to show is how to install one of these extra um, lossless formats. So the way to do this is um, you, you, you hit the uh, F11 key on your and this gives you the compression options. So these are the ones which are already in the program without having to do anything. Okay, it's already there. Um, but say we want to put WAF back, for example, so you'd have to go there, go to user define encoder, then put WV for WAF pack. We should find the WAF pack XC on the WAF pack site. Then you browse to your. I keep all my XCs in the FLAC folder on the in the EAC. Okay, I think that's a good place to put it, but you can put it elsewhere if you want. Then it's up to you. Uh, so in the FLAC, I've got my FLAC, my LAME, MP3, HD encoder, I've got MP4, ALS, OFR, which is Optimum Frog, Shorten, TAC, which is another recent one, Trodio, uh, Wapetia, which is basically a tagging one for um, TAC, and also for Ape, which I haven't got at the moment, which is the Mac.exe. I could go and get that as well. Um, and WAFPAC. So we've got WAFPAC here. Open that. So we've got WAFPAC as the um, the path to the to the encoder. Now the the additional command line you need to find um, from somewhere. It's not always obvious where to find it, but I've got them all listed here. I'll put this uh, all this information on the page once I've put the video up on the YouTube site. So go to WAF back here. Um, got all this information here. You can have a look at that. I usually just copy the uh, the highest quality one and put that in the uh, in the in here. Okay. So that's what we've got. So delete what after compression. You don't need any of these here. For you could have check for external programs return code if you wanted to, but there's no need to. So here we go. That's now we've got, we're going to rip to WAV pack, the first one. So let's just do naturally, for example. Copy the selected track, compressed. And I want to put this on my desktop so you can see what's going on. Here we go. Like that. It starts to rip. So first of all, it's going to give us a WAV. Uh, the track is naturally, which is there. So we wait for that to go through. And there are many lossless um, encoders you can use, about 10 or 15, which are currently available to you. And they all pretty much 
you know, useful because they some people like one more than the other for reasons of their own. My favorite is Shorten, which I think is still the best, the most clear, but um, many people have got their pref preferred ones. So that's the, uh, the track ripped in the WAV format from the uh, from the disc. Wait for the um, encoder to kick in. There you go. So when it kicks in, you've got the WAV file and the yet to be made, and it's quite quick with the with WAV pack. And then you've got that. Okay, audio extraction complete. And there you go. And I've also got a log there, which I don't particularly need for one track, but. I'll put that in the bin. Now let's have a look at the file. Properties there, it tells me it's a WAF pack or you. Okay, and uh, that's it. So that's the one we've done here, whole WAF pack. Now I'll move that to the bin, I don't know anymore. So let's change it to a different um, to a different format, a different lossless format. So let's do it as an MP3 HD. Oh, or a shorten. Let's do a shorten. Uh, now let's go to the F11 again. Now, if you if you're doing, oh, sorry, that's not loaded. Well, let's do that like that. Okay, user. Now, shorten is listed here, so you can take it from there. You have selected a different command line. Can just, shall I delete? Yes, you delete that. Shorten is what I want. SHN. Now, this is the uh, the wrong. Uh, encoder so I've got to browse and find this is the name of the shorten one it's called shorten 32xc put that in here right fortunately with um, shorten you don't need any ad additional command line it's the only extra <laughs> it's the only one that doesn't do doesn't require one if you look here I've got all this listed here shorten see you've got all this here has got no um, no additional command line, so we don't need one for that. So let's just do a shorten rip here, like that. Let's just uh, this one here. Compressed, shorten as you can see. Save. That's going to go to the desktop. There you go. As a while first to start. I will just show you FLAC after that because that's the most popular of all the lossless formats and then we'll leave it at that but I'll, I'll link all the information for the other ones so there you go to the end of the WAV that's been ripped it kicks in so it goes into 2 shorten there to B and the WAV and, and then it goes into the shorten file okay and extracted done okay now as regards FLAC, we're going to do that now. I'm going to do the whole process because I, I haven't actually haven't got it on my system at the moment. Properties. And it shows you very little there, but it's it's basically that. Okay, so to no, I haven't got shorten on I haven't got um flak on yet, so we'll do the whole thing. Okay. So first thing you do F eleven. I want flak, is flak listed here? I don't think it's listed, so I'm going to have to use, if it's not listed as one of the ones here, you have to use user define encoder. And then you go to, I want it to be a flag, so I need to change that to dot .flac. I need to go and find the flag encoder, which is flag.exe. I certainly want a bit more than, uh, let's put um, something like in there. Okay, okay, check for external. Uh, okay, let's have a look at the uh, info I've already got for why I've got for FLAC up here. I can't remember it all by heart. Uh, external, click the external one, yeah. Uh, FLAC, XE, we've done that. Now the command line, uh, slowest time encoding, highest compression, fastest time encoding, lowest. Uh, we'll do. Well, because we not in a hurry, we're going to do that here. Go for a flak 8, which is the, the highest, oops, sorry. 
copy that and put that into here into the additional command line that's so that should give us a flag 8 which is the uh, the highest quality one there we say okay we've got everything done here let's just make sure that we haven't got anything funny additional command line you uh, yeah. uh, ignore the high quality and the low quality check for use disable use CRC check so we disable that disable because uh, that's only fine piece and stuff okay so that's the way it looks for flag now I need to show you that as well because that's useful um, we can do a new saved profile for so we'll call that flag of course all the SEO options yes so we'll, we'll load this one now we've got the flag thing ready to go so if you want to rip to flag that's how you do it now let's pick a track it's wonderful compress this one desktop will be in flag okay here we go so I just wait for that This wonderful wave is here. Just wait for that to go through. And then to the encoder. So you got the two files, you got the flag, it's going to be flag soon, and the wave there. Wait for the encoder to do its business. And we have a flag file here. It's wonderful, flag. Let's have a look, see what the properties give us. If anything, in this case, yeah, it is a bit more with flag. Okay, so we've got tagging and flag. Okay, so that's how you do it. If you want to do the if you want to do the whole album in one go, you just go to Action, uh, copy the image and create a cue sheet if you want it that way, or you can select it tracks. You can highlight all the tracks, you do whatever you want. One track, two tracks, the whole album. You can have a cue sheet, a log, whatever you want, okay? And that's the way it goes. That's very, very handy. So these are the ones I've got in mind. I've got MP3 HD, TAC, WAF pack, MP3 4, Shorten, True Audio, Flat. Ape, of course, is one of the ones I haven't got on there, which which probably people might want as well. But you get the Mac.exe for that. I will put the info onto the, the page. And that's basically it. So have a try. See what you see what you can do with that.